everyone, and welcome back to Bald Man Reacts. Check it out, the band Pantano today. Pantano is Nuno Rodriguez from Waco, Miguel Mateus from Subversive, and Arlindo Cortoso from Low Twerk. They are a band out of Portugal. Nuno and I started talking several months ago when I did the video for Waco and good stuff. Certainly worth checking out. All those bands are quite good. And today we're going to check out Pantano. It just got, their single just got released. I'm looking forward to it. I know it's going to be a little different from the band's normal offerings. So let's get into it. The band is Pantano. The track is Semi Alma. And here we go. I already love these riffs, man. Big, low, swampy, and southern. Got a little bit of that groove, a little bit of Alice in Chains in there. Makes me very happy. Oh yeah, love that big southern influence in his voice. Definitely get some of that house and chains there again. Low and slow vocal delivery. Really like those harmonies. Makes you want to move and groove. So easy going, it's so catchy. Love that humongous guitar tone. Drums sound fantastic, really clear in the mix. Like that really easy go and leave there. Bass is there, it's low and rumbly, it's gonna reward a listener with a really good sound system or a really strong set of headphones. Because it's gonna sit there right down in the bottom of the mix. love the vocals I'm getting out of Nudo here. It's different than I've heard Wacko. It really lends itself to what he's capable of. These riffs are twisted a little. Great vocal layering, the textures. It fills there. I like the effect on his voice there. It works really well. Definitely harkens back to that 90s grunge sound. about this track is even doing a video where I'm 
talking about it and offering my commentary. It's so easy to get lost in the groove and lost in that riff, and I just want to bang my head. And sometimes when I'm listening to more technical and complex stuff here on the channel, it's a little difficult to sift through that and still be able to offer commentary and just let go. And this has got such a great, strong groove. With It's a little more simplified and easier to digest where I can still offer a solid commentary on the track. It's still banging my head like it, like it absolutely needs to be banged to. Great stuff. That was Pantano. The track is Semi Alma. That is their first video. And I can already tell you, Nuno, let me know where to pre-order it, dude. I will pick up a copy that is awesome. Personally, I am a gigantic fan of Southern Rock. I am a big fan of grunge. It's what I one of some of the stuff that I've cut my teeth on growing up. Love bands like Alice in Chains, Courage to Conformity, Down, uh, Crowbar, and just so many of those big southern rock, southern metal, that U.S. Stout, down south sound, and they do such a great job. Certainly to be expected, having the drummer of Low Tort have that again has some of that sound. Big, heavy, thick, groovy guitar riffs. Bass is low and rumbly, exactly where you expect it in a track like that. The drumming is slightly on the minimal side. But there's still some fireworks in there, some really nice fills and accents. The drums are a bit forward. They do have a lot of attack. I think it works for the way they're trying to mix that and what they're, the product that they're trying to deliver to the listener's ears. The vocals are smoking. I love those lazy vocals in the beginning that very relaxed I'm taking my time delivering this lyric feeling certainly get a lot of that Alice in Chains Lane Stanley approach there or even bands like Trouble and Y&T you know, even get a bit of that Chris Cornell and his vocal performance there the layering is done well the little effects the megaphone like effect that goes on in a couple of spots it's a very polished mix so if you want something a little dirtier you might not get it but i think the dirtiness in that guitar tone certainly makes up for some of the other polish i loved it man it's sits alongside so many of the things that i enjoy it sounds familiar, yet it still sounds slightly fresh. You can certainly get the influences out of it. But if you're a fan of Southern Rock and Grunge, there's absolutely no reason you should not enjoy the hell out of that track. I certainly did. And I'm glad I finally get to hear them talking about it for several months and awesome 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 stuff certainly got another fan in me gentlemen thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to listen to it and do it on the channel certainly appreciate it thank all of you for checking it out with me and getting your grunge and southern groove on now you're all gonna want i know with some beer and barbecue after that. Probably just the barbecue and some coffee. Definitely some barbecue. Thank you guys. I love you. Thank you to my law enforcement, military, veterans, and first responders for what you do every single day. As always, you have been awesome. I have been bald, man. I will see you in the next one. 
be excellent to each other, and keep head back.